In this video, we're going to take a few moments to talk to you about notifications. A notification is basically the same thing as a text message that you've been receiving through the SMS program at the city, although this program is just a little bit nicer. All right, real quick, when you click on notifications, if you're uh, an administrator level of some sort, you'll be able to send out notifications. You can send a notification to everyone in the department by clicking send to all. You can pick people on certain lists. For the purposes of callback staffing, a list is uh, like our Rolodex, like full-time shift coverage or paid call coverage. You can select a group. A group is someone like A shift or B shift or station one or station two. Or we can pick a certain classification and send it to all those employees. Classification would be like a paramedic or critical care or firefighter. Or you can select one or two users and send a message that way. The mechanics of sending a message are exactly the same. So we're going to we're going to just send this message to David Ivy. So in the send a user box, we're just going to start typing typing David, and his name will come up, and we'll select him. And we've already got a pre-formatted message there. One of the nice things about notifications is that you can see how many characters you have remaining. That way your messages should never get cut off. You can check the box if you want to also send it via email. This might be helpful if you want multiple ways of contacting people. So we're going to hit send. A notification log will then pop up and you'll be able to see when the contact time was, whether or not uh, David received the text, and what the status is uh, based on the interactions that he has with either his texting program or the app. I'll just point out right now that the app is so much more user friendly for the receiving of notifications. When you receive a notification, you can select acknowledged, responding, or unavailable. David's gonna select one of those right now and you'll see it pop up over in the status portion. Okay, it gets highlighted yellow, and uh, David has acknowledged that he's received the message. He can also send us a message back, and we can see what that is if we scroll down just a little bit. All right, one of the great things about notifications is that it, it saves a log of all the notifications, and it also lets us as administrators know who has received uh, the message and what you're going to do with it. We don't anticipate that notifications will be used for anything like responding to the station. Uh, we're still going to use Active 911 for callbacks in that manner. However, if B Shift is going to call and invite you to join them for training or invite you to play Ultimate Frisbee, they can send out this notification and then they can see immediately who's going to be responding. Okay, in a nutshell, that is notifications. Once again, Administrator level people can send out a notification, uh, but everyone can receive it and everyone can acknowledge and send messages back.